Welcome to the Plantronic Savvy 700 Series Setup Guide. Today we will cover installing, wearing, and using your new headset system. All Savvy 700 Series headsets feature up to 350-foot wireless range, high-quality audio, and remote call management for your PC, desk phone, and mobile phone calls. Your Savvy comes with the headset. Base, charge cradle, telephone interface cable, USB cable, power supply, extra ear tips, ear loops or cushions, and a quick start guide. Connect base power supply cable into charging base and plug into an outlet. Place the charging cradle in the base and gently push the headset into the charging cradle. The charging indicator light on the base will flash green to indicate it is charging. Charge for at least 20 minutes prior to first use. Plantronics software allows your headset to work more seamlessly with your soft phone, providing controls including call, answer, end, mute, and some additional features. You should check with your IT staff before installing software on your computer. Please see your Quick Start Guide with Software link to download instructions or visit www.plantronics.com software. On this page, select Download Latest Software. Once you agree to the terms and conditions, you can begin downloading the software. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the installation. Plug the small end of the USB cable into the base, then plug the other end into an open USB port on your PC, rather than a docking station or USB hub, which may not supply adequate power. Once connected, your computer will recognize the new device and notify you when it's ready to use. If your product came with an electronic hook switch cable, please refer to the setup modules in the following sections. Connect the telephone interface cable to the jack on the base and then disconnect the handset coil cord from the desk phone. Connect the telephone interface cable to the open handset port on the desk phone and then connect the handset coil cord to the telephone interface cable junction box. Place the handset back on the telephone cradle. This step is still necessary when installing an HL10 lifter, but not with an EHS cable. Press the handset lifter power cord into the handset lifter jack. Position the lifter as shown in the diagram. While wearing your headset, press the call control button on your headset to activate the lifter. If you hear a dial tone, the lifter is set correctly and needs no adjustment. Attach lifter to phone using the three mounting tapes on the underside of the lifter. For additional setup information, see your user guide. If your Savvy came with an EHS cable, insert the cable into the base as shown. When connecting to your desk phone, please note that phones and cables vary. For complete setup information, including ideal settings, View installation instructions for your phone model at the following URL. Press and hold the Bluetooth pairing button on the base for four seconds. When ready to pair, the Bluetooth indicator light will flash red and blue. Activate the Bluetooth feature on your phone, then use the phone's settings to add, search, Discover new Bluetooth devices. Select Savvy from the list of devices and enter four zeros when prompted for a passcode. Select Connect if prompted to connect your mobile phone to the base. Once paired, 
the Bluetooth indicator light on the base will turn solid blue. Slide the headset over and behind your ear, then press gently toward your ear. Position the microphone close to the corner of your mouth to ensure that your voice is picked up clearly and background noise is effectively canceled. The headset can be worn on either ear. To answer or end a call, press the call control button on the headset. To increase or decrease the volume, press the plus or minus volume buttons. To mute your call, press the volume down button for one and a half seconds. On the top of the base, there are three buttons. Press the desk phone button to initiate answer or end a call from your desk phone. Press the mobile phone button to initiate, answer, or end a call from your mobile phone. Press the PC button to initiate, answer, or end a call from your PC. The button on your headset will also answer and end any call. To switch between your desk phone, mobile phone, or PC audio, press the button of the device that you want to switch to for less than one second. The headset and base come subscribed to each other. If you wish to use a new headset or need to restore subscription to your current headset, you will use the base subscription button. For more information about the subscription button, see the Advanced Features module. To join any two of your calls on your PC, mobile, or desk phone, Simultaneously press down their two respective call control buttons for three seconds until both indicator lights turn solid green. While on a call, you can conference in up to three additional headsets. Place your guest's headset into over-the-air subscription mode by pushing the headset volume up button for three seconds until the indicator light is solid green. Then. Press the subscription button on the base. It will flash yellow and green and then turn yellow. When you hear a tone in your headset, press the call control button within five seconds and your guest is joined to the call. To ensure your headset audio is properly routed from the communicator main screen, select File, choose Options, and select Audio. Select the headset as the default device for both microphone and speakers. Now you can select which device plays your incoming call alerts. These sounds typically route through your PC speakers, but can come through your headset if you prefer. Select OK. To call an existing contact, click the phone icon next to the contact name. You can also enter a phone number manually using the search box located at the top of the screen. When a call is placed, a call window will open and the audio will be routed to your headset. Answering incoming calls is easy. A call notification will appear on your PC screen. Use the controls on your headset or click the PC notification to answer the call. Audio device adjustments can also be made from the PC control panel. Go to the Start icon, select Control Panel, and then select Sound. Make sure that your headset is set as the default communications device, both in the playback and recording tabs. To make volume or other audio adjustments, click on Properties and select the Levels tab. In this menu, you can test and adjust listening and side tone volumes. Side tone allows you to hear a small amount of your own voice through the headset. The correct side tone level can help you regulate the volume of your voice when wearing a headset. When finished making sound and level adjustments, click OK. Your installation is now complete and your headset is ready to use.
We hope you enjoy your new Plantronic Savvy Headset System.